All right, y'all. I'm in one of them places where I don't want to leave, but I got to go to work. <laughs> I'm hunting a smoking chestnut. I climbed this thing three times with a climber and saw uh, 21 deer. There's uh, and 16 of them wind me. One of them, a small buck, caught me moving the camera. He was about to be in trouble. And then four came in and I put one of them in the freezer. And I was climbing. The way the wind was, there's no trees. This is the tree right here. But there's nothing to climb on the good wind side. It's dropping acorns right here by me. So there's nothing to climb over there. And so I was trying to cheat a crosswind and climbing trees over here. And that's why so many deer wind to me. I was hoping that I would, you know, get lucky and beat them, but a bunch of them wind to me. And I was just fortunate that this tree is so hot and had so much action that some came in. I mean, this thing is literally wore out. It's raining acres. Well, I hunted off the ground this morning, and that's what this video is about. Ground hunting do's and don'ts. I started out on the perfect wind side over here, and I got right in there. Turn this thing where I can see. Right in there. Had my little chair in there, and uh, there was no cover in front of me. I expect my deer to come from back in here somewhere. So I drug this limb. We got a, a blowdown from the hurricane. I drug this limb and just put it right here. And uh, right off the bat, I'm sitting here, or this morning, and the doe comes right there. She gets right there, and uh, I shoot. And I should have aimed lower because she squatted out of it. I shot over her back. She was uh, probably, I thought it was close, but it's, it's, it's like probably 15 yards. And it, uh, no matter, I just made a poor shot. And then, uh, I mean, the shot was good. It went where I was looking, but the deer wasn't there when it got there. I should have aimed lower. I knew that. Then I'm sitting here a little while later, and a little, little rack buck comes right here. And he comes and gets right by that stump there. And this is one of your don'ts. When I turned to shoot him, he didn't know I was in the world. My arrow, when I drug my limb up here, I didn't put it far enough away from him. My arrow bumped it just a little bit, not even that much. And he locked on. And he stood there five minutes and then turned around and walked off. So uh, if you're going to build you some cover, make sure you got it far enough away from you that you don't touch it with your arrow. And, uh... I should have paid attention, but I was looking at him and not looking at my arrow. And one good thing about this ground hunting deal, I'm sitting here and the sun breaks through there and it's, it spotlights me right here. That's not good, not even in a tree stand. So I, I was like, crap. And then uh, I realized, hey, you're on the ground, dummy. So I got up and moved to where I should have been to start with. And uh, even though none of, neither one of them deer saw me until I did something stupid with the the little rack buck he's a four point i think and the uh, but the doe i should have got i just didn't shoot low enough but i come over here and scratch me out a little place here and set right up in there there's my chair right there i'm coming back if you guys come by here and see my chair don't steal it you're welcome to sit in it but leave it sitting there so uh anyway and i like this place better the deer most of the deer come from here and the way they were going, where I was sitting at, they were walking straight to me and then browsing, going grazing around the tree. Sitting from here, I'm, out, I'm a little bit more out of their line of sight. They would be coming right there and their eyes would get past me. And uh, I'm kind of learning this stuff as I go here. I've killed some deer off the ground, but you know, you learn as you go. But uh, a dawn is, and I, there was no cover in front, so I drug that limb right there. And I got it far enough away. I learned that lesson the hard way. So this ground hunting is addictive, I can tell you that. I had two deer. The four point was probably 12 yards. And uh, man, my heart was pounding. And if I hadn't brushed that limb there, he'd have got in some trouble because he was coming up by this stump right here. When he, when, he, when he got behind that stump and was walking like this, I was going to shoot him right there. But I brushed the leaf and he locked up right there. 
This tree is destroyed. The, the ground under here. This is this is what you scout for, or something like this here. But anyway, that's uh my morning's hunt right there. I'm on a good funnel. And it's a really deep slough. It goes around that way, and then it gets shallow. And they they cross right there. Good place, good place. So some lessons I learned this morning from the ground. Don't have your cover too close where you don't hit your air, you got room. And also, the doe heard me, but she got over it. I had my, um, I cleared the ground out right here a little bit, but one of these, my foot was resting on that root and I moved it and she, she heard one of the cleats of my boot rub. And that's probably what had her on edge. She she kind of she didn't know anything, but it, she did stop and look, and then she went on back to feeding. I should have come on down there in that heart with that arrow, and she'd have squatted to about mid lung. But instead, I shot lower lung and shot over her back. Look at the sign all in here. Good. Good. Wow. Ground hunting do's and don'ts. You guys have suggestions on what y'all what y'all do ground hunting. And I'm hunting southern deer. I'm not hunting deer that are stupid. I don't want to say stupid, that are not pressured. A lot of I've seen guys hunting with flannel shirts and all this sort of thing. I got my kill suit that I was wearing and, and both of them deer looked through me. But uh you're not gonna be a whole lot successful down here with just a flannel shirt on sitting over on the ground. I'm telling you now you'll get spotted. These deer are hunted hard, but uh, we do have a long season. gives you a lot of opportunity, and I'll, I'll come back to this tree. The season, for me, i got to go to work, but I'll come back to this tree and hunt it one more morning and evening probably. But had I hunted this off the ground and not been trying to cheat the wind out of a stand because of the only trees available, there's no telling it the opportunity I'd have had right here because all them same 21 deer, you know, would have probably came in here. And man, there was a six at one time would have come right up through that gap there. And I might have probably, I'd have made these same mistakes, but I'd have learned from them. But uh, that's the one thing to think about is not set where the deer are walking straight towards you to feed and then waiting on them to get around the tree where their eyes are, are the other way. Is like I like that setup over there better. Like here's my tree. The deer coming from this way. The setup back here is much better because I'm kind of behind that. And they don't have to go very far before I'm they're quartering away. Whereas right here, I gotta wait till they get in the tree and start feeding and then then wait on that shot that I need. So that's pretty cool. That's if you have an idea because when I was hunting here, of course, there was some a deer, some deer coming from the other way too. Ground hunting, man, it's exciting, truly exciting. The whole side of this bank here is destroyed, but I wish y'all could see all this. You can hear acorns falling. This is a cow. I always, when I grew up. And the folk, first swampers I hunted, they called them cow oaks. And then I, it wasn't until I got to hunting with some people who called it by the real name, the swamp chestnut. But I've always known it as cow oaks. Well, let's work our way on out of here. It's early yet. <laughs> May some critters still come in here to be run off or missed. But uh, I got to go. Let's ease on through the swamp. Maybe we'll find a pig on the way out. That'll be cool. And also, I'm a mile, I'm right at a mile deep. We'll look around and do a little scouting on the way out. Let's go.